Good afternoon viewers, you are watching us live from our main studios here at Sukuta and this is your teacher's hour show with me, Paul Suman Fal. Uh, today I have uh, two teachers here, one is a former teacher of St. Reses and the other one is uh, Brimawa Upper Basic School who, who will shortly introduce himself and the lady will also introduce herself. But before that, if you want to be part of the program, you know what to do. Uh, just type Jungle Entertainment Universe and follow us on all our social media platforms. We are on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And we are also screaming live on Facebook and live on TikTok with uh, Mr. Sabali. Uh, sponsors are also invited to support uh, this worldwide cause as we create this platform for teachers. We've seen Gambian teachers have been through a lot. Some of them will always say they are not uh, paid according to uh, they expect and things are really difficult with them. So sponsors are really, really invited. And I believe I am urging everyone to support uh, this worldwide cause. Uh, let me start from my far right. Uh, you are welcome, Mr. Jamil. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Powers. Uh, it is a great pleasure to grace this uh, auspicious day. Uh, well, I am uh, Lamin K. Jame, uh, commonly called Mr. Jame in our school. Um, I'm from Brima Upper Basic School. Yeah, I'm really honored to be here today. And then I leave the rest with my colleague to continue to thank introduce you very ourselves. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Mrs. Uh, Minden Kante. Uh, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little about you? Good afternoon, viewers. I am Mariam Minte, a runaway teacher. I am not a teacher anymore. Um, right now, I am into media, mass communication. That's it for now. Wonderful. Thank you for that uh, awesome introduction. I think I will now start with Mr. Jame. Um, so Jame, we will want to know what inspires you to be a teacher. Well, great question. Yeah. Um, as a youth, mm -hmm. uh, and I have gone through uh, different schools. Mm -hmm. uh, I started school uh, from our village, mm -hmm. uh, Iliasa, where I started, yeah, which is in North, North Bank region. Mm -hmm. I later came here, went to uh, uh, Latrikunda Savage Upper Basic School. Wow. Yeah, for commonly called Plazas. Plazas yeah. yeah, I later proceeded to Nusrat Senior Secondary School, wow. where I graduated. Mm -hmm. And later, within the, those times, mm -hmm. you know, I will do. I do help my friends, mm -hmm. you know, in certain areas. Mm -hmm. And then later, I develop wow. the love of teaching. Mm -hmm. And then I later went to Gambia College, yeah. uh, where I studied agriculture, agriculture. Wow. originally. Wow. So later, you know, mm -hmm. I shift into education system, mm -hmm. you know, because I've seen that, you know, youths mm -hmm. uh, need help. Yeah. And then with that little experience that I drive from mm -hmm. the Gambia College, mm -hmm. I see it is necessary to mm -hmm. help the youths. Okay. And then how can I do that? Mm -hmm. I cannot do that in the street. Yeah. And then I cannot gather people at the Johnsons. Yeah, so true. I have to, you know, diffuse in the field of uh, uh, education. education yeah. That is through teaching, mm -hmm. you know, Thank God, I, I, you know, I feel very comfortable, wow. you know, in, 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 in teaching the youths. Yeah. So these are helping youths mm -hmm. actually inspired me a lot, oh, yeah, to go into teaching and then to inculcate mm -hmm. knowledge into, into the youth so that they can be a better people mm -hmm. in the wow. society. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Great. Yes. Awesome. What an immaculate inspiration. Yeah. Uh, Miss Minte Kante, the runaway teacher, now we want to know what was the actual reason that inspired you to teach, even though now you've already run away, but what was the basic reason that inspired you to go for teaching? Well, I went into teaching 2019. That was the year I graduated from school. Wow. Um, what inspired me into teaching would be my love um, for let's say public speaking. Yeah. Like I love public speaking so much. Mm -hmm. And we had this team called the Pro Young Learners Association. Mm -hmm. So I was with them mm -hmm. and we hold, uh, held a meeting at St. Mm -hmm. So one of my uh, colleagues in the group told me, I think uh, mm -hmm. you can come to the school yeah. as an uh, unqualified teacher. Yeah. You, um, you have the potentials to teach. Mm -hmm. At this point, I was not ready to teach. I have no idea about teaching and all that. Mm -hmm. But then I went back home and mm -hmm. said, and think, mm -hmm. I think I can do this. I was very good in mathematics, mm -hmm. so I just try and apply, mm -hmm. and then I was accepted. Okay. So I went in there, like 
no experience, no nothing. Experience. But then, alhamdulillah, they were there to help me. Mm-hmm. And alhamdulillah, it was all fine. So what inspired me would be mm-hmm. my love for public speaking inspired mm-hmm. me to teach here. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's another immaculate inspiration as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Jame, we know of teaching. It's really crazy. And I, I always tell people that, like, I cannot be a teacher because mm-hmm. the, 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 the realistic definition of, of a teacher is just to make someone <laughs> better than you. Better than and you, honestly, yeah. if you're better than me, fine, but I, I, I also want to, want to be better. To be better. We've seen teachers yeah. teaching, I mean, ministers, presidents, you know, they, they, they can become president, they can become vice president, and handling this human high prestige positions where you exactly. are still a teacher, still refusing, uh, uh, receiving the same Limited salary. salary. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. It's always something else. Yeah. So, how do you feel being a teacher? Comfortable. Wow. Yeah, comfortable. You know, uh, for everything that you are going, Mm -hmm. uh, you must have a goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then you must have a mission. Mm -hmm. And in achieving that, Mm -hmm. you will feel uh, so many ways and you will feel, you will face so many obstacles. Yeah. And you should be ready. Absolutely. You know, to tackle all those obstacles. Mm-hmm. Like you said, teachers, mm-hmm. I always tell students in the class, you know, mm-hmm. uh, teachers are the only one mm-hmm. who will wish mm-hmm. the people they teach to be better than them. Better than them, absolutely. You see, mm-hmm. they have that heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with all that on the table, you know, the lives of the teachers mm-hmm. uh, should not be as it is. Yeah. Uh, because if you are teaching ministers, mm-hmm. you are teaching uh, presidents mm-hmm. in class. Yeah. Because when you are teaching, you are teaching different kind of people. Mm-hmm. Uh, some might be ministers, some yeah. might be presidents. Absolutely. We have that in our mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, mm-hmm. teachers should be paid of something yeah. that there should be smile on their Absolutely. face. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't mean that being a teacher mm-hmm. means you are poor. Yeah. Uh, it is the system. Yeah. That teachers see themselves mm-hmm. that they are trapped in, that is making them poor. Yeah. And that system can change. Absolutely. When that system is changed, mm-hmm. the young ones outside who are not in the field of teaching mm-hmm. will be inspired, yeah. will be motivated, mm-hmm. will be hungry to enter into teaching. Absolutely. I see. Mm-hmm. So, being a teacher, mm-hmm. I said I feel comfortable because uh, today mm-hmm. uh, I can sit mm-hmm. and then I, have, I taught students mm-hmm. who are now at university. university. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some are on their final year. Ah. You know, when I meet with them mm-hmm. in the street, mm-hmm. you know, I feel comfortable yeah. because these are not arm robbers. Yeah. These are potential people, people in the society. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are beneficial people yeah. in the society. Mm-hmm. So I feel comfortable to meet those people. Yeah. And awesome. they also feel comfortable to meet me yeah. due to how we were separated. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Are you seeing? Yeah. So it's okay. I feel comfortable okay. being a teacher. Wow. But uh, teachers are not poor. Mm-hmm. It's the system that is poor. That yeah. is making teachers poor. Yeah. And that system so, can change. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly. Wow. I think this is this should this should serve as a lesson as long as I mean teachers are concerned and exactly. those who are responsible of exactly. you know paying teachers exactly and, you know, yeah the the, the 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 ministry also should make sure that they come up with something in order to help teachers because exactly even on my previous interview with mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Mbub, the headmaster of St. Chaba Suryajyot exactly. he also lamented the same thing the same thing. And some of the difficulties they are faced with and it's not easy to at be all. in the system at the same time trying to make people better than you and at the end you are of not the receiving anything. anything. Because he even gave me a scenario, a realistic scenario, which is, I mean, there was a veteran teacher who taught for over 30 years okay. and he was the headmaster of a particular school mm-hmm. and when he re- re- retired, Retire. he didn't even have a house. Not mm-hmm. even a poultry house. Yes, <laughs> even a poultry house to go and live in. Because, <laughs> you know, whenever you are a master and you are given a school, they mm-hmm. expect you to I'm stay in, the, in that school yeah. with, your, with your family. Exactly. But when you retire, you should vacate the place it's and allow the, the new master to come. So, he even have to bake to the upcoming administration to allow him to stay for some time so he can so find a place yeah. to stay that's, for 30 that's, good years. That's, that's, that's to be honest, it's, that's it's, horrible. Really, it's really horrible. That's horrible. Uh, Ms. Minte, Kante, you've heard of what uh, Mr. Jame just, yes. just said. What do you see about teachers being through a lot? And we still expect them to, 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 to deliver the best when it comes to academics. Well, I'll just add uh, to what he said, mm-hmm. just one, one point. Uh, yeah. When he said, mm-hmm. like, teachers should be well-treated so that 
others can be hungry for the field. Yeah. That is very important because when I went into the field, mm -hmm. I just taught for one academic year. But I know this is not a field for me because <laughs> I love money. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I wasn't qualified and then I wasn't receiving much. Yeah. But then I saw the qualified teachers mm -hmm. and then what they were earning. Mm -hmm. I wasn't convinced. Like, Absolutely. If your transportation and your breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. if you take that from it, what, what would remain? Like, it's a very little uh, amount. So I feel this is not a field for me. I cannot be in a field where, it, yeah. like, I will talk for the rest of my life and I wouldn't have much money. Mm -hmm. This is my belief. Like, wow. I love money, so I cannot be there. <laughs> and then uh, about you teaching mm -hmm. your entire life, mm -hmm. like, at the end of the day, you don't even have a place to live. It's very common. Yeah. Um, one of my colleagues told me, mm -hmm. you see, um, when you teach at the end of your, when you're almost at re uh, your retirement age, mm -hmm. in most cases, they will make you a principal yeah. for you to just Shunk. corruption yeah. and have <laughs> a money yeah. to build a place where you will live because yeah. from your earning, you yeah. can never get a house. Yeah. And, and that is terrible. Like yeah. you cannot expect uh, someone mm -hmm. that is like when we when we when we want mm -hmm. the education system in the Gambia to be good, yeah. they need to pay the teachers. Yes, like absolutely. you will see a one teacher running three schools. Mm -hmm. Like that is terrible. terrible. You don't expect them to deliver yeah. to expectations. Absolutely. absolutely. So to me, mm -hmm. I feel that the the. the the payment scheme, this would change. Like, yes. it's, it's horrible. Yeah. Like, you cannot be hungry for a field mm -hmm. where you're not making money. Yeah. Like, some people would mm -hmm. say they are passionate about doing it, yeah. but me personally, yeah. I cannot do it. That, because, that was that was why you ran away. Yeah, that was why I left. <laughs> I cannot just be working like and, that. And not only you, but, 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 but many teachers are also are doing, running. doing this. Yeah, yes, yeah, they are yeah. Because yeah. being a teacher, in as much as you love the job, you are doing it for a person, you also I'm want telling. a better life. I'm you also want a quality life. Exactly. If you have with your children, you exactly. having a spouse, you know, and your family also. Mm -hmm. You to be a responsible man to be able to do certain things mm -hmm. for yourself. Yeah. And to be honest, uh, the payment, the, the teacher payment scale is it's, definitely it's, horrible. It's horrible. It's yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely yeah. horrible. And like I always say, mm -hmm. teachers are generational makers mm -hmm. because teachers will determine the participation of teachers will determine the type of generation we will have in the you know sure. upcoming years or in the f future mm -hmm. if you have bad teachers definitely the next generation will be bad mm -hmm. but exactly. if you have good teachers the generation is there's, really there's a hope that generation will be good. so yes. uh, mr jame we well, also want to know what was the major challenge you had to face in order for you to become a qualified teacher qualified teacher it's mm -hmm. not easy yeah. uh, like she said, uh, I also started as an unqualified okay. teacher. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was. I can say I taught for two, mm -hmm. you know, academic years. Yeah. Okay. So, like I was teaching. So later, mm -hmm. uh, I have to leave. So then I said, let me go and study business administration. Wow. So I went to MDI. <laughs> I studied business administration. You know. So, but that one, mm -hmm. I think I I should go to the. Okay. Uh, the diploma level, diploma level yeah. but due to payment issue, wow. so I have to quit. Then I went to a school of agriculture. Wow. Wow. You know, the challenges in mm -hmm. the field of education or uh, in the teaching field is is, is too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, as I always said, mm -hmm. in everything you are doing in life, mm -hmm. yeah. there will be challenges. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, one thing, the challenges started from the college. From the college, yeah. The Gambia College. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could remember, you know, if you want to develop mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. in the in a country, mm -hmm. you have to educate the yeah. educators. Absolutely. Uh, and then the educators are the teachers. Yeah. So if you go to the Gambia College, mm -hmm. you look at the environment, yeah. you ask yourself this question, mm -hmm. is this the national college? college. Absolutely. Is exactly. this the place where teachers that should uh, educate mm -hmm. our young ones mm -hmm. are graduating from? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you have so many questions mm -hmm. that are really rhetorical. Yeah. That honestly. there can be answers to those yeah. questions. Honestly. And honestly. then the place is not conducive, yeah. obviously. Yeah. The teachers are struggling mm -hmm. there. Transportation is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. You see, and mostly these are poor mm -hmm. youths yeah. who have Okay, hence I have no other option. Let me go to college and try a chance. Mm -hmm. What's the final? Yeah. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So if those people are struggling with transportation, mm -hmm. talk less of feeding, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's something else. else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. at the end of the day, these are people who will sacrifice their life mm -hmm. and then later graduate and become teachers. Yeah, honestly. You see, honestly. since the beginning, mm -hmm. they don't have that peace of mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they happen to be in the field mm -hmm. of teaching, mm -hmm. okay, they have another loss. Mm -hmm. We said, 
uh, in the field of education now, mm -hmm. the child right is there. Yeah. So you have to take your time how you deal with the children. Mm -hmm. No matter how angry you are, you have to know how to control your anger. Mm -hmm. Okay, no matter how stressful you are from your house mm -hmm. to the school, mm -hmm. you have to know. They don't care yeah. what, how you come from your home. Yeah. The right or the rule of the school is the rule of the school. Mm -hmm. And an ignorant to the law cannot be an excuse. Yeah. So you have to follow the rule of the, of the school. Mm -hmm. So there you have to be patient as mm -hmm. a teacher. Yeah. That's the one number one challenge that you have to have to mm -hmm. be patient. Yeah. And <laughs> you can even be in a class, yeah, uh -huh. students, this noisy backbenchers yeah. can be behind provoking you. Yeah. <laughs> is it? So all those things, you have to know how to tackle yeah, them. Tackle them yeah. Professionalism. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be ethical yeah, in absolutely. the field of teaching. Mm -hmm. So uh, or there are challenges. Yeah. You have to be mindful of the child, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have to deliver to expectation. Mm -hmm. Kids nowadays are very wise. Yeah. If you are giving wrong information to the kids, mm -hmm. one is back or behind their who obviously know what you are teaching. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you have to study mm -hmm. as a teacher. Absolutely. To equip yourself mm -hmm. that you are going to the class. Yeah. I have to prepare and that's a challenge. Yeah. Gambians don't want to read. Mm -hmm. I, know, I was chatting with somebody, the person told me, if you want to hide money from Gambians, put it in a book. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so because we don't open books. Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. so that preparation needs to be there mm -hmm. if you want to be a teacher. Yeah. That's what I always even tell my colleagues. Mm -hmm. You know, we are yeah. teachers. Yeah. Once you feel like you cannot do it, mm -hmm. quit. quit. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't be in a situation that, you know, I cannot do this thing. You Then you force yourself to stay. Mm -hmm. In long run, yeah. you will spoil something. You will spoil something. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Miss uh, Mintekante, you've heard of what he just said. Uh, what do you have to add to that? Adding on to that, what he said is very important. The mm -hmm. challenges in the teaching field are too much, mm -hmm. and then you need to be prepared for it, yeah. like mentally, yeah. physically, and all that. Because mm -hmm. I remember there was a day mm -hmm. one of my colleagues uh, treated my kids mm -hmm. the way I do not like. Yeah. And then I was complaining to my head of department, and then mm -hmm. I was crying. Wow. And then, like, that was, I, I felt I wasn't, I'm not ready for this field. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. those kids, like we're well, like my younger ones mm -hmm. like i loved them so much yeah. up to date mm -hmm. like we have that relationship up to date yeah. with yeah. their parents and most of them with their parents mm -hmm. so i wasn't ready to mm -hmm. say someone else should you know yeah write my child when he or she is Absolutely. wrong i don't like that <laughs> yeah. i don't like anybody talking to these kids in a certain yeah. way yeah. Yeah. so you see somebody that is doing that mm -hmm. is not ready yeah, for the field yeah. because you are not the only one teaching the kids mm -hmm. some some other people are doing yeah. and when the kids do something that is wrong mm -hmm. they'll have to deal they'll with have them, to deal with them. Yeah. 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 that's and why those... I always say if you are too sentimental it will be difficult exactly. very difficult yeah. exactly. Exactly. especially very dealing with Gambian students very yeah. some of them can be really really hard headed yeah. very difficult. all those things very were challenges that I faced and then mm -hmm. like it, it's like okay mm -hmm. a new education system for me yeah. mm -hmm. like before i go into class i have to take the teacher's guide i have to you yeah. know put everything that i am going scheme. to teach yeah the lesson plan i remember yeah. like i was i painted that that <laughs> lesson plan and everything so yeah. and then you have to submit that end of every week yeah. for them to mark, mark yeah. it, Look, all that was giving me problem mm -hmm. at the end of the time mm -hmm. making results it was it was it's just hectic, hectic. It's yeah. hectic. for it's the money they are paying yeah. Yeah. like it, it was not it was not easy absolutely. at all absolutely yeah. but um, i mean Mr. Yame, can one say, is it, is it right for one to say teachers are the only students that will never graduate? Because in as much as you are encouraging students to read, you are also reading. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. <funny. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah metaphorically it's correct. Exactly. Yeah, metaphorically we can say that's, that's true. Yeah. You have to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, teaching mm -hmm. is not, uh, it's not, a, it's not, a lazy occupation. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You have to be active mm -hmm. because you are dealing with books mm -hmm. and generation mm -hmm. is advancing. Yeah. So once you are always dealing with ancient books mm -hmm. and new books are coming into the system, yeah. you are not upgrading yourself. Mm -hmm. You will be giving an all information to the, to the kids. Yeah. Yes. Honestly. So when you say that teachers are the only students that will never graduate, that will never graduate. That is correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, uh, we are not wearing uniform to sit in the class. Yes. But mm -hmm. the circumstances yeah. around our job mm -hmm. shows that what you are saying is right. Teaching there are so many challenges. You know, mm -hmm. when you come, even it's a national issue, but it's a problem in teaching field. Yeah. Transportation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
See, men sound like somebody who is receiving that limited amount of money mm -hmm. have to budget transportation. Transportation. Yes. And yes. talking is not easy. Yeah. At the end of the day, you have to eat. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and this is not a place where mm -hmm. people cook there. Yeah. You have to eat in the morning mm -hmm. and, and in the afternoon you have to eat. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you budget all those things, we are talking nearly hundred and hundred dollars plus. plus yeah. Absolutely. If you want to eat good food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Are you seeing? Mm -hmm. So definitely it's not yeah. easy being a teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, but we have to. Indeed. Because mm -hmm. it's obvious mm -hmm. that we need educated people yeah. in the society. Honestly. So and those people can only be available through mm -hmm. the help of the teachers. Yeah. Teachers, yeah. So, I always say this, I've never seen a country that was developed by the least educated people. No. Yes, absolutely. So no. the investment should be, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I always say this, the, if you want to be an investor, invest in education. I'm telling because you, because it continues. It's the best yes. investment so far. Honestly, honestly. So that will lead us to the Gambia College. Exactly. The college mm -hmm. is my concern. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that's where we are all coming from. Yeah. If the college is not good. Yeah. It, yeah. it doesn't tell well. Absolutely. It doesn't tell well. You know, that's why we people are trained. Yeah. So the college need to be need to, to be, be trained. Trained. exactly yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Miss Kante, we also want us to to to, to Mrs. again Mrs. Minte Kante before your husband will sue you to court. I'll start <laughs> <with this. laughs> uh, We've seen recently uh, students, Gambian students, have been failing woefully, especially when it comes to WAS examination. We want to know what are the contributing factors, according to your own perspective, that is leading majority of the Gambian students to fail. I will later pass the same question to Mr. Jame as, as well. What do you think? Okay, one of uh, the reasons mm -hmm. that I feel mm -hmm. uh, resulting to students failing mm -hmm. is the rampant schools mm -hmm. without observation. Wow. Pausman, you see certain schools, mm -hmm. you go to certain schools, mm -hmm. you wonder if uh, people are coming here to learn. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you go into a school, there is no teacher mm -hmm. teaching, and then it's lesson time. Yeah. And most of these people, mm -hmm. I would say, are foreigners. Yeah. They are here mm -hmm. to look for money. Yeah. They are just looking for profit. Mm -hmm. But they do not care if the kids learn or yeah, not. Or not yeah. And also... Uh, they're promoting the kids. Mm -hmm. You're promoting them. Yeah. Like if they don't pass, they mm -hmm. pass. You don't care. Yeah, mass you, promotion. You, yeah, mass promotion. Mm -hmm. You keep promoting them. Absolutely. Unless if if you if a child repeats, mm -hmm. repeat again, yeah. that child will do harder. Exactly. To go to the the the, the next yeah, grade. Exactly. But this mass promotion is mm -hmm. a very big problem. Yeah. Like. And the 12 students, like, mm -hmm. they cannot even speak, speak proper English. English. Yeah, and that's the, the, the language you're using to teach them. Yes. So what does that tell you? Absolutely. They don't understand anything Absolutely. that you're explaining to them. Mm -hmm. So a kid from grade one mm -hmm. all the way to grade 12, mm -hmm. no English, yeah. no understanding of English, Absolutely. meaning that child learns nothing. And exactly. you don't expect that child to sit for exam and pass. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And also... The teachers are not motivated. Mm -hmm. Zero motivation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the teachers, some of them are family members. Mm -hmm. So Sorry, family heads. Family heads so yeah. they'll have to do one, mm -hmm. two, and three yeah. to put uh, food on the, the table. table. Absolutely. So if you go here one, mm -hmm. you're very active in the morning. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, you'll be tired. Yeah. Teaching is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's talking. Mm -hmm. like you talk, yeah. you talk, and then you get tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You teach well in the morning. Mm -hmm. The afternoon, mm -hmm. it's, it's better, weak. Yeah. In the evening, you want to teach, mm -hmm. you will not teach the kids mm -hmm. anything. And especially, you don't expect them to pass. Especially sometimes you will be in a class where you have certain students. The moment you say, do you understand? They will also say, no, <laughs> yes. you have to go all over again. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why I said, <laughs> exactly. I, I can't be a teacher, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. Honestly, 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 teachers, teachers, <laughs> teachers are, are great. Government teachers are great. Um, my last question before we go for a short commercial break. We, we, we've heard that they said, I mean, students, the reason why they are... <coughs> Uh, there's this mass promotion. Students have an, uh, an uninterrupted basic circle mm -hmm. of education that should not be interrupted mm -hmm. for like maybe six years or seven years or nine years mm -hmm. to be specific. Mm -hmm. okay. well, uh, this uh, uninterrupted basic circle, is it beneficiary to the students or to the society or to the, to, to, to the Gambia at large? Because you cannot you mean, promote a student mm -hmm. that you know he or she does not deserve that promotion. At the end of the day, it, 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 it all boils down to... To, to, to fail you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. to you fail see, you. So what do you think about this uninterrupted basic circle that the ministry came up with? Weaking the students and discouraging the teachers. 
That's basically. Not good. Yeah, honestly. You know, mm-hmm. when as a student, we all went to various schools. Mm-hmm. And then during our times, we know that how when you don't pass, you have to repeat. Mm-hmm. At least yeah. uh, we can vividly remember that. Mm-hmm. And nobody wants to be in the same class. Mm-hmm. Your friends are going to the next class mm-hmm. and you, you are repeating. Absolutely. That forces you to read. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To study harder. Mm-hmm. But suppose I know that, okay, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we are all going yeah, to grade three. Yes, passing on at the end of the day, we are all going to grade eight. So what is the yeah, essence of absolutely. forcing myself to read? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, so it's, it's, it's so weakening the student and discourage the teachers. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. teachers will know at the end of the day, they are all going. Mm-hmm. I see. So certain uh, laws before they come with mm-hmm. them, they have to look at the yeah. other side of it. Absolutely. You know, fine, they are saying that not every, some students, when you promote them at the end of the day, mm-hmm. as they are going, they improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. everybody have your, your interest area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some students are in school, mm-hmm. they are interested in football. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some are interested in like athletes, like run, yeah, those yeah. are runners. Yeah, sports, yeah, sports. Absolutely. Like, mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that is the responsibility of every parent. Yeah. Observe your child, mm-hmm. look at his interest area. Mm-hmm. You know, come on, with his education mm-hmm. that he is going yeah. along the line, you are pushing mm-hmm. the child. Exactly. The, uh, exactly. Exactly. Area. Let him let just he will have be able to read and write exactly. and then focus on and focus on the, at the end of the day yeah. then the person will fit in the society absolutely yeah. but absolutely. you leave this child you said massive promotion mm-hmm. massive promotion and as he you know really was bad. saying you know yeah. mm-hmm. at the end of the, you graduate mm-hmm. you don't even know what this child graduate with absolutely it's crazy you absolutely. cannot defend the <laughs> result that you graduate with. absolutely yeah. Absolutely. I see. Mm-hmm. Due to this massive promotion, massive promotion, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it will affect, mm-hmm. you know, our departments. Yeah. 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 And even it Gambia will, as a country. It will affect yeah. Gambia. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. I see. Honestly. So, Honestly. there should be mm-hmm. better rules. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not saying like students should be repeating. Yeah. But you fail one academic year, mm-hmm. repeat that class. Yeah. Even the government is not telling you as a parent, mm-hmm. you as a parent should be conscious enough yeah. and be you know mm-hmm. responsible enough yeah. to, to, to discuss child. with your child. Yeah. You know what you can do and what you cannot do. Exactly. If you go to the next class, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yeah. what is there. Mm-hmm. You don't know grade eight. Yeah. Grade eight topics are not clear to you, mm-hmm. and you are going to grade, grade nine. Grade nine is something else. That something the possibility else. of that person to fail is very high. It's very high, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They cannot, they cannot even pass. They cannot even. They pass. cannot pass. And yeah. see, we're saying like teachers are loaded with lot of periods. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you see, honestly, you have to teach from seven to nine, double period, double period, and you are human being. You are human being. It's, it's and if you are tired, what do you do? No, you just go and give a difficult work to the kids, <laughs> and you go and sit in the staff room. <laughs> Seriously. I think that is, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is where we are going to stop for now and go for a short commercial break. Like I always say, uh, viewers, this is your, I mean, teacher's hour with me, Paus Manfal. We, uh, you can see the topic is really interesting and teachers I have here are doing justice to, I mean, the topic today and what we want to know. Uh, we will go in for a short commercial break and we will be back. Uh, welcome back viewers from that short commercial break. It's your show, the teachers hour, and you've seen the teachers I have here today are really doing well. Mr. Jame and Ms. Minte Kante are really explaining some of the fundamental, I mean, factors that is hindering the education as long as Gambia is concerned. Uh, Mr. Jame is uh, highlighting some significant point and Mr. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Minte Kante also is doing the, the same thing. Like I always say, is the jungle, I mean, entertainment universe. This is what we do. We entertain at the same time. We educate. If you want to be part of the program, make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. We are on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, welcome back, uh, Miss and gentlemen from that short commercial break. Thank you. I believe we were having a wonderful discussion before the break. break. Thank you. Uh, another important thing, I think where we stop was this mass promotion, exactly. which I believe you both did uh, justice as long as uh, that is concerned. Mm-hmm. Uh, another interesting factor is uh, we've seen uh, Gambia's system of education. Mm-hmm. If you engage most of the teachers, what they will tell you is we are doing really well, mm-hmm. but the problem is coming from our homes okay. because Gambia if you see if you analyze properly we have more of knowledge consumers mm-hmm. than knowledge producers mm-hmm. teachers are really doing their best mm-hmm. some parents are also trying 
but not mm-hmm. all of them. Mm-hmm. So what are the possible mechanisms that Mr. Jame, you believe that we can use in order to, to make sure that parents also play an important role in their uh, child's education? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Usman. Mm-hmm. I think that's a very important question. Um, parents are key factors mm-hmm. when you come to education. Mm-hmm. Um, teachers, I say in a school, uh, we show students mm-hmm. what to do. You know, yeah. This is how to do it. Mm-hmm. Go home and practice it. Mm-hmm. You see? So as a parent, mm-hmm. you should work hand in glove mm-hmm. with teachers. Uh, do not see teachers as oppressors. Yeah. If you see teachers at a negative perspective, mm-hmm. it will be very difficult for you to work with them. Absolutely. You see, teachers are also parents mm-hmm. uh, to these children. Mm-hmm. And then if children come to homes, it is now the responsibility of the parent. Yeah. You know, to see, to read that these children, mm-hmm. they really practice yeah. what they learn from school. Mm-hmm. You see, now, one thing I will tell you Mm -hmm. is this mobile phone Mm -hmm. is a problem. Kids are, you know, wise than parents, I can say. You know, a child can come and have a mobile phone, Mm -hmm. you know, sit on the table, Mm -hmm. pretend to be studying. You know, as you are coming, you just turn the book over the yeah. Over the over the mobile phone. Mobile phone yeah. Okay, then you just come. You look. You said, "Wow, my child is reading." Is reading yeah. When you are gone, you close it and go back, and, go back yeah. and continue like that. So yes. we have yeah. all those experience. Yeah. You know, when we have PTA meetings, mm-hmm. you know, I do explain this to parents. Yeah. And one of the parents told me that he said, "What you are saying is true. Mm-hmm. I learned this from my child mm-hmm. that." You know, I thought this child was reading, yeah. but I later realized that he was having a mobile phone mm-hmm. under the book. Absolutely. So parents need to be very observant. Mm-hmm. Look at your child. When mm-hmm. a teacher calls you and says your child is doing this, and it doesn't mean that the teacher is, mm-hmm. you know, trying to spoil the name of your child yeah. or trying to label your child bad. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. we are all doing the same job. Mm-hmm. You know, let's with teachers. Mm-hmm. Ask them. And parents need to come to school. Yeah, honestly. You take your child to school. Mm-hmm. The whole academic year, you don't even know the name of your child's teacher. Mm-hmm. You don't know which class your parent, your, your mm-hmm. child is. Yeah. Some parents will come and tell you, I'm asking for, mm-hmm. you know, they tell you the name of a child. Yeah. He said, which grade? You know, they begin to think. Yes. Yes. You know, you exactly. wonder, is this, mm-hmm. sorry to say, but is this parent serious? Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, this really a question. Mm-hmm. They have to come to school. Yes. Let, it, let them inquire, how mm-hmm. is my child performing? Yeah. Some of these parents will tell you, I'm going to school. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, they will not reach yeah. school. Yeah. It's common in this upper basic and senior yeah, yeah, school. Students, yeah, absolutely. See, at the end of the day, they go and sit somewhere else. When mm-hmm. they realize that it's now closing time, mm-hmm. then they will walk home. Yes, and join the crew. And join the crew, they yeah. come home. Absolutely. And then you are there saying, my child is going to school. Mm-hmm. That is why you shouldn't have the number of your, the teacher. your, your, your the teacher. Mm-hmm. You know, you should go and look at the register. Mm-hmm. How... You know, punctual yeah, is this child. child. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay? Mm-hmm. That will help a lot. And yeah. at home, every child, I always tell students, every child needs to have a study table. Mm-hmm. No matter how, you know, poor you are, we know the condition of the Gambia, but mm-hmm. at least a table. Yeah. Provide that one for this child. Mm-hmm. And then you make sure the child sit down and read. Even yeah. angels are teaching your child. Mm-hmm. But as long as this child don't sit down mm-hmm. by herself mm-hmm. and read, mm-hmm. The child will not understand. Not understand what absolutely. Doing. That's what they said. You can force the horse to the river. But, but you, you cannot force it to drink. drink. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Madam, you've heard of what he just said. I mean, parents have to be very vigilant when it comes to you know their children because they also have to play a role. The reluctance of our parents uh, is playing a key role. You know, they leave everything in the hands of the teachers. Uh, children will just spend, some of them will spend from like uh, 8 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. and their children will go down and you have the afternoon shift. So they have limited time with teachers. And it, it is the responsibility of the teacher to educate the child. Mm-hmm. But it is the responsibility of the parents mm-hmm. to do both, to, to educate the child and mm-hmm. to raise the, the, the child. child. It is really, really important. What do you have to add? On, well, just add, he literally, literally he said everything, but mm-hmm. just adding on to what he said. Yeah. Um, I'm much more concerned about the parents not going to the school mm-hmm. and see what their children are doing. Mm-hmm. Like when it mostly in the senior school mm-hmm. area, 
you give your the child school fee to pay. Mm-hmm. I, I know a couple of people that yeah. used their school fee mm. and went to bargain. I'm telling you. Wow. Yes. You cannot like you cannot give your child mm-hmm. okay, the grade nine results are out. Mm-hmm. Go and look for yourself. Go and school uh, look a school for, for yourself. yourself. You go there, mm-hmm. you look for mm-hmm. a school, mm-hmm. you are in that school, mm-hmm. they give you money, you go and pay. Mm-hmm. Like your parents do not even know where the school yeah, is school located. Is really, yeah. Yeah. Like really even not like, let us not even say the education perspective. Mm-hmm. But something could happen to that yeah. child. Yeah. You have no no contact at the school. Mm-hmm. You don't even know where that school is mm-hmm. located. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have to go there, what are you going to do? Absolutely. So, it, you're putting the safety of mm-hmm. that child at mm-hmm. risk. At risk, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. You're putting the safety at risk. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, so there's certain parents, you know, yeah. you, there are certain parents that are really doing good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, you're always in contact with them. Mm-hmm. When you are a very active parent, yeah. and then you are in contact with the teacher, mm-hmm. when the teacher do not see your child, yeah. one, two, three days, mm-hmm. the teacher will call absolutely. and ask, mm-hmm. what is going on? Mm-hmm. So, so, and so mm-hmm. is not coming to school. Yeah. But then you, as a parent, mm-hmm. all you know is let the child go, to, go school, to school so that you will have peace of peace mind. Of mind. I remember yeah. during the corona, I was talking to a parent. <laughs> mm-hmm. She was like, school, what na ibi man, so na wah bimung ma This is what she, she told it. me. That's it. Yeah. You see, so parents are running away from responsibilities. I'm you, I'm yeah. you. Yeah. you cannot run yeah. away from your child's responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you give the children homework. Mm-hmm. The way they close the book mm-hmm. and go home, they will come back to school and tell you, I forget. I forget. I forget. If you revise your book, you will not forget yeah, your homework. Forget. You come to me and tell me, I did not yeah. understand. Mm-hmm. That's why I did not do my homework. Mm-hmm. It's fine, I'll explain. Yeah. But you come back to me and tell me, mm-hmm. Um, I forgot to do my homework. Mm-hmm. Meaning, when you went home, you did not revise. Yeah, yeah, so that, that parents have, have a very important role uh, do, to do, play do, do, there. Play. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. That was that was really wonderful. And uh, mm-hmm. and another thing, Mr. <coughs> Jame, which is really, which I believe, mm-hmm. I mean, have been uh, something that concerns the entire Gambia, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to the education sector. Mm-hmm. How effective mm-hmm. is our c- curriculum? As long as you know you have been a teacher, you mm-hmm. have been in the system for quite a while now. Mm-hmm. You understand the curriculum. Exactly. How effective it is. Uh, the curriculum system of the Gambia mm-hmm. is very good, uh, but you know, in every good thing, mm-hmm. if the thing is not getting the support it needs, it, needs, yeah. it becomes useless. It becomes useless. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That is it. Honestly, you know. The people who sat down and program it mm-hmm. have great ideas, you know, they have great intention, mm-hmm. but are they giving or are they doing justice to what yeah. they have programmed? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That is the big picture. Mm-hmm. Recently, they have introduced this, uh, what we call civic. Civic, okay. Uh, this civic, mm-hmm. I always sit and ask myself, mm-hmm. you know, civic education. Mm-hmm. You know, they said, you know, you teach students about the love mm-hmm. for their country. Mm-hmm. I used to call it mm-hmm. uh, nationalism. Nationalism, yeah. Love for your country. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm not saying those who are teaching this civic mm-hmm. are not qualified. But yeah. I have a question mark. Mm-hmm. This, you know, when you have to introduce a system, mm-hmm. you need to program people. Yeah, exactly. You need to train people mm-hmm. that you know that at the end of the day, mm-hmm. that you are sure if yeah. these people are out there, yeah. they will do their best. Mm-hmm. Okay? Honestly. But we just understand that uh, last year, mm-hmm. civic is introduced in senior school. Wow. And all the fields are studying, being in science, commerce, or arts. Yeah. But we don't know who are these people who are teaching the civic. civic. Some are telling you they are veteran uh, uh, history teachers. History teachers, I mean, honestly. I you saying? This civic is a very important subject. Mm-hmm. But it will be useless when it is not taught mm-hmm. by the rightful people. Honestly, honestly. I see. Honestly. So the curriculum of the Gambia mm-hmm. is, is, is funny. It's funny, absolutely. I'm because, telling you, because it's there funny. Was, there was even a yeah. time, I, I, yeah. I, I was having this debate with one of my mm-hmm. professors. Exactly. Uh, I told him to me uh, this pop FLE population family, family life, life education. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Me, I even prefer that yeah. than this civic because yes. if you are educated and you have yeah. love for your family, it's mm-hmm. obvious mm-hmm. that you love your That's country. Right. We are the country members, exactly. the family members. Exactly. We are the one who form the country. Exactly. So <laughs> this civic education yeah. shouldn't yeah. have even been a separated subject. I'm it could have been incorporated. A topic in, exactly as a topic, topic under the under the family life in in, in, in pop FLE. 
Exactly. So you see, what like what you said, the system itself is a bit confused. It's confused. Yes. And whenever yeah. you are coming up yeah. with something, they need to include in teachers. Include teachers. Because they are doing the job directly. Inform people. Exactly. Inform people. Exactly. You it, know, it is really important. You no know, power is if I mm-hmm. should come here today, mm-hmm. you know, I'm to introduce something. Mm-hmm. And I know that I should work with you people. Yeah. But this new innovation that I am coming with. Mm-hmm. You know, I believe, I just sit in my house. Yeah. I said, I believe powers can do this. Mm-hmm. I believe X can do this. Mm-hmm. I believe Y can do this. Yeah. But those X and Ys are not informed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just go with the in- innovation. I mm-hmm. place it on the table. I said, this is now the case. Mm-hmm. You are going to take this one. It's going to take this yeah. one. Mm-hmm. If there is any failure, mm-hmm. those people are not to yeah. blame. Absolutely. I should be blamed. Yeah. Honestly. It's Honestly. like they are That's forcing uh, mm-hmm. people to do things they don't Some are even saying yeah. that it's yeah. because there is, there is porn in it, money. Yeah. That's you know, yeah, that's, that's what you are saying. They are just so, so, to that's known to them. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. is why many people say too much optimism, like initiate foul play. I'm telling you. Yes, because yeah. they are optimizing. They are saying that, okay, I believe they can it, do it. Yeah. Don't believe. Be sure. <laughs> be sure. Exactly. Be sure that <laughs> be sure. they can do they it. Can do it. Yes. yes, it's true. Government teachers are really intelligent. Yeah. I mean, kudos to all of them, like I always say. Mm-hmm. I, for me, government teachers, I don't, yes, everybody wants to be rich, but for me, I don't envy rich people. I envy exactly. government teachers. Exactly. Because what they are doing, mm-hmm. they sacrifice, the level of sacrifice Lot they are putting sec- in the system. Lot of Honestly, sacrifice. Honestly, no, nobody can, can, can pay religion. Lot and of even sacrifice. if you, there was a time, mm-hmm. when it comes to religious perspective. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that God said, the Prophet said, mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yes. the best the among you is those who learn the Quran, Quran and teach and all that. All that. And yes. even in our <laughs> g- 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 generation, when, exactly. it, when it comes to the <laughs> Western education, mm-hmm. you also have mm-hmm. the same thing. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. The best among us are those who who teach us. Exactly. exactly. So you see, nobody yeah, can, yeah, can pay yeah. a teacher. That no. is why. And then the state of a teacher, mm-hmm. I, to me, I, I always tell people that the state of a teacher is always difficult mm-hmm. because they are always on a dilemma situation. Exactly. Whereby they have to choose between two desirable uh, things. I'm telling it's you. Really, it's really confusing. <laughs> really confusing. To be, to be honest. 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 Uh, Miss Minty, another important, I mean, uh, question. If you are given the opportunity to change anything in the education system of the Gambia, what will it be? Anything. Yes. I have a lot to change. Yes. A whole lot. Yes. Can you just few? Yeah. Okay. First, I I would change the environment at the Gambia College. Like wow. the entrance, everything, the mm-hmm. procedures. Yes. Because the, the, the uh, dormitory is something. Everything. <laughs> and, and, and sometimes the, 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 mm-hmm. the students that go there, mm-hmm. like sometimes the students that are hopeless, yeah. I'm zero, mm-hmm. are the ones that go to the Gambia College. And these people, these are the people that we produce. Yeah. For them to go and teach other people. Exactly. So they need to be, like, it should be, like, the best students yeah. of the Gambia go to the Gambia yeah. College. So yeah. They can be the best and teach exactly. others to be the best. Exactly. But you see certain teachers, mm-hmm. like, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really discouraging. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, um, the ministry, mm-hmm. uh, their monitoring system, mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. it's, it's a bit uh, behind. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit behind. Like, it needs to be I am, like, there's, so I, I was like, if I was a minister, uh, like a minister mm-hmm. for one day, yeah. there's a particular school, I am going to close it down. Yeah. Because I know the school, mm-hmm. I know what they, do, they're doing, mm-hmm. I know what the students are going through. Yeah. They don't care about, even if you have, it's a, it's a senior school. Yeah. Even if you have aggregate 54, mm-hmm. they will take you. They, will take you. Just, they want the money. Yeah. Honestly. And they don't care. Yeah. They don't pay teachers mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Teachers would keep changing. Mm-hmm. They would take trainees from the, the teachers senior that are school. on, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, attachment or so, yeah. from the Gambia College, you <coughs> teach senior secondary school, school students. It's, it's really bad. It's so really you, bad. these are things they need to monitor. They need to keep eye on it. You mm-hmm. go to a school, like, let's say for a whole six months, yeah. there's no, no, no one from the ministry mm-hmm. to come and supervise what's going on Absolutely. there. So Absolutely. So they, they will be free. Absolutely. Just let them have their money. Yeah. And, 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 and then, Mariama, that, that is a very good point. And if you see those who are, Overseeing the helm of affairs as long as the education mm-hmm. is concerned, they mm-hmm. were all teachers. Yeah. Prof was a lecturer, you know, <laughs> Claudiana Cole was a teacher. So, and they understood w- what is really going on, they know what is on the ground. Exactly. So, we expect them to at least come up with certain things. Exactly. That is the problem of the Gambia. You see, you go to the parliament. Yeah. Most of the, uh, these parliamentarians are, are yeah, teachers. Yeah, we're teachers. But, but what? Laws are they coming to help the, the education system? Absolutely. That's the disappointment we are yeah. facing. And, and 
uh, she mentioned something very important. Mm -hmm. The entrance in Gambia, in Gambia in College. College yeah. You see, mm -hmm. that one, I always complain. You yeah. know, when you talk, brilliant students who mm -hmm. come with nine A's will say, this man don't know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I obviously know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Before you take somebody from grade 12 direct to university, mm -hmm. let the person pass through, through college. college. Thank you exactly. very much. It's like you Experience. are reading my, my mind. Experience yes. matters a lot. Absolutely. Don't take somebody from senior school direct to university. university. Absolutely. You see? Absolutely. Let, let, let people pass yeah. through process. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when they graduate from the universities with their magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, you, 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 will, you realize that these people have like college knowledge, yes. but they will not be at that university, university standard. Standard. Exactly, because oh, what should have pushed them? It's, you know, it's, it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Exactly. The so, foundation should have been should have, the, the, the college. And exactly. it should be compulsory. It's, compulsory. It, 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 it shouldn't be optional. Shouldn't From be optional. grade 12, you go to college. You Absolutely. need to uh, uh, produce a college degree to be, uh, uh, yeah, to be able to have admission exactly. at the yeah, university. Exactly. And, and, and you come to the cluster monitors. Mm -hmm. You are monitoring a cluster. Yeah, exactly. You come with your rider, <laughs> you pack it, you sit go to the, the principal's office, and chat. you sit there, you chat. Yeah. That's what they do. That's it. You see, at the end of the day, you are going, you are giving some token. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you have to write a report about their school. Mm -hmm. Everything is excellent. Yeah. And you don't even go into the classroom. Honestly, you don't go into That's the classroom. It. This is it. This is, is what happened. This so what happened. these things, mm -hmm. you know, need to change. Yeah, absolutely. See, I always absolutely. tell people when the head is sick, the whole of the body is suffer. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so there are so many changes that need to be done yeah, yeah. in the education system, starting from the some certain mm -hmm. subjects, you know, uh, uh, even the entry to university mm -hmm. we are talking about yeah. making English and math as a compulsory yeah. that you must cross that one. Mm -hmm. My brother, let me tell you, not everybody, some are good at English and math, yeah. but not everybody they are rejecting mm -hmm. to enter in that university yeah. at all. Uh, absolutely. Honestly. You see, mm -hmm. using English and math as a tool yeah. for people to enter in university mm -hmm. should be should be observed. Yeah, yes. should, should be observed. Yeah, that justification, I always say. It's honest. discouraging many yeah. youths Absolutely. who know that their potential, they yeah. could have been something, mm -hmm. but that serves as an obstacle, yeah. a barrier. Honestly. They could not explore their, Honestly. their And I know of people that Honestly. did not even have both English and math, and I'm they are at the university. Yes, yes. sometimes you, you engage. So, yes, they have sub studies, but sometimes you engage certain students. You talk to them, and then as time goes on, you you, realize you ask them that <laughs> uh, which school are you attending, uh -huh. thinking that they will tell you a particular high school. Uh -huh. They tell you that they are uh, around their second year at the government university. No, no, no. Sometimes it's it's it's, it's horrible. Awesome. It's sad. It's sad. But so, anyway, we uh, need so many adjustments <laughs> in the education system Absolutely. actually, yeah. and along the line, we mm -hmm. need certain changes. Mm -hmm. You know, let the cluster monitors double up, yeah, and exactly. then they you know, mm -hmm. the ministry should consider the mm -hmm. teachers yeah, honestly. honestly. Should consider the teachers. Most of them were teachers mm -hmm. so telling them that you should do this for teachers yeah. is like mm -hmm. it's like flocking a dead horse yeah you were there mm -hmm. you know what you are facing mm -hmm. so today you are up there mm -hmm. look those who are down absolutely honestly honestly really really this is so and there is no lot of things that we should tell them yeah. change this change this yes. they ought to know yeah Honestly, yeah. to be honest, how well they are just informing us that our time is almost done. So, yeah. Miss uh, Minte Kante, Mrs. Um, I'm used to calling you Miss. I know your husband. <laughs> what is, what will be your concluding remarks? Well, my concluding remark would just be very short. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Ministry of Education have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. They need to look back at the ed education system. Mm -hmm. They need to uh, motivate the teachers yeah. more mm -hmm. uh, for people like me mm -hmm. to go into the system because I love money yeah. and I know most of the people that are working mm -hmm. need money yeah. to put food on the table Absolutely. and then it was a very interesting discussion I learned a lot <laughs> from Mr. Jam <laughs> thank you so much I thank you very much you're Mr. welcome, you're Indeed. welcome. Indeed. thank you very much Mariam uh, um, Mr. Jam yes. uh, before you conclude as well we will want you to advise your fellow teachers and Gambian parents as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then follow by your concluding remarks uh, I will first of all start with the parent mm -hmm. Uh, let them see teachers, mm -hmm. you know, as partners, yeah. you know, in developing this of their children. Mm -hmm. You know, let them not see teachers as, you know, mm -hmm. oppressors or whatever, yeah. you know. So let them help teachers. Mm -hmm. Let them force their children to study at home. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. these kids 
they are our hope. Mm-hmm. You know, with these kids, we have a lot of things to achieve. Absolutely. You know, I always tell students, mm-hmm. it's because you are not, you are lazy, mm-hmm. but most of you are not stupid. Mm-hmm. You see? So mm-hmm. if you put an interest onto something, I was telling one of them, mm-hmm. I said, you, when I tell you that Next week, we are going to do this test. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only if you will read. Yeah. But if I come and tell you here, mm-hmm. from chapter 1 to chapter 7, mm-hmm. if anybody understands everything, mm-hmm. I will give you $5,000. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind, the whole class will yeah. yeah. So it's the interest. It's the interest. So let them bust the interest mm-hmm. of Absolutely. the children. Yeah. And then to my fellow teachers, mm-hmm. let them keep it up. Yeah. And they are doing a great work. Mm-hmm. And then let us continue to exercise the patience. Yeah. You know, as a teacher, you will hear a lot of things. Yeah, you know, because so. when you gather different people, you will yeah. be labeled. Yeah. You know, you will be called names. Absolutely. You know, but that doesn't define you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a mission, mm-hmm. and then I always tell the people when the caravan is moving mm-hmm. and the dogs are barking, yeah. you don't stop the caravan, the caravan to chase the dogs. Absolutely. So focus and go. <laughs> yeah, so okay. let teachers keep it up, okay. and then we help mm-hmm. our kids, and absolutely. then so we will achieve our goals. Uh, yeah, that's 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 what I have. Thank for you very much. Thank and you I'm very, very happy to be here. Yeah, yeah so this is a great platform, mm-hmm. and I'm really honored. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm seeing great, great, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. feature in this Thank institution. You. Thank you. And Thank I you believe very that much. Uh, the the flag of this institution mm-hmm. will high Amen. fly higher, higher, Amen. and Amen. great people will come and sit here Amen. and Amen. announce the institution. Amen. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very yes. much. Yes. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Jame and yeah. Ms. Uh, Minte Kante. We really um, appreciate this, and we appreciate you coming here to grace this. I mean, interview, and this was what we have for you today, viewers, on the program. Teachers Hour with me, Paus Manfal. Don't forget to subscribe on all our social media platforms. We are on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and, and Twitter as well. Uh, TikTok also, we are screaming live. Don't forget to follow our guy, Mr. Sabali. And a special thanks to our camera people, uh, Barista, Magai Siri, Sabali, Sir Omar, the technical director, and the entire jungle team. Thank you very much. Till we come your way next week with me, Paus Manfal. Bye bye.